Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Yo, we got Dr. Dre single, man. Kim K on the reasons for her divorce. Master P can't stop Sabrina on why she decided to put the pressure on T.I. The feds are like, yo, hi, Mr. Shiesty. Nice to meet you. And 50 getting knocked out. That's right. I said that, man. Hey, yo, man, we got lots to cover for today, man. Yo, if you feel any part of the, con uh, of the content, man, be sure to hit that like button. It helps us out, man. YouTube spreads us out to more people, man. Hey, yo, man, the notification bell is waiting for you to tap it. So go on and give it a touch and uh, hit that notification bell so uh, every time we drop some videos man you could be first on deck man i might slur my words a little bit man because your boy got a little bit of a toothache man you see what i'm saying um all right let's get right to it man yo a few months back right dr dre scared the ish out of all of us when he was in the midst of a divorce and had that brain aneurysm man now when that happened right i feel like everybody looked at one person now as of wednesday right last week last wednesday whatever a judge officially declared dr dre single that's right, ladies, on your mark, right? Now, the judge stated, quote, marital or domestic partnership status is terminated and the parties are restored to the status of single persons, close quote. Sounds like a message you would see when you restart your computer or something like that, right? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, in having an aneurysm and being at death's door, Dre came back and turned into a doctor for real, for real. He stated, quote, it's a really weird thing. I've never had high blood pressure. <laughs> really? Weren't you married? And I've always been a person that has always taken care of my health. But there's something that happens for some reason with black men and high blood pressure. And I never saw that coming. But I'm taking care of myself. And I think every black man should just check that out and make sure things are okay with the blood pressure. And I'm going to move on and hopefully live a long and healthy life. I f I'm feeling fantastic. Fantastic close quote. Yo, you heard it from the doctor himself, man. But I wonder why black men in particular tend to have that high blood pressure thing at higher rates than men of other races, man. Yo, let me know why you think in the comments below, man. I'm curious, right? I noticed a lot of y'all in the comment section be saying some pretty insightful things, man. That's why your boy lives in the comment section, man. And with that being said, make sure you're not doing things that get your blood pressure high. All right, fellas? Kim Kardashian provided an explanation for why exactly she decided to divorce kanye west and of course it was vague right as hell right a actually hell is not vague it's very clear why you're there right you thought it better to be the sacrifice for your sins instead of accepting the messiah as your sacrifice you see what i'm saying <laughs> i mean of course that's a different discussion right but whatever anyway kim k was vague and didn't point to any one thing now, as like the impetus for the divorce, she pointed to a number of things, which is usually what it is, right? It's a series of things that make a big event happen, right? Not just one single solitary thing. It's a series of actions that make your character, right? Not one defining event. Anyway, take a listen to Kim explain herself to, who is that, Andy Cohen? I, I don't know. Anyway, take a listen. Why did your marriage not work? What would you attribute it to? I honestly don't think I would even say it here on, on TV, um, but it was not like one specific thing that happened on either part. I think it was just a general difference of opinions on a few things that led to this decision. How is your relationship with him today? We have an amazing co-parenting relationship and I, I respect him so much. And I, and I think we, um, I think we'll have, you know, that was my friend first first and foremost for a long I must admit right I do like the fact that she said quote I honestly don't think I would even say it here on TV but it's not one specific thing that happened on either part she decided not to put my man Kanye on blast on TV respecting boundaries I, I like that right and didn't say it was anything in particular on either part trying to keep it as fair as possible sounding you see what I'm saying I respect that a, a lot of folks would not have done that man y you get what I'm saying now she did say quote I think it's just a general difference of opinions on a few things that led to this decision uh, I'm sorry a general difference of opinion I thought that was all marriages man I mean nothing but major agreements but general di uh, differences of opinions where you learn to talk it out and compromise which of course is the fun part you see what I'm saying if you're dealing with someone that's rational <laughs> you like and there's my problem they actually think differently than me which couldn't possibly be rational hey y'all i remember when puff daddy had a song right and he was like we ain't gonna stop we don't even know 
how to stop. And when I heard that, right, it hit me. Like, some people, they don't even know how to stop. Like, you're looking at what's her name, like, yo, stop being a thought. But maybe she don't know how to stop. <laughs> Y'all need to stop all them gang affiliation. Maybe they don't know how to stop. Why don't they just stop being racist? <laughs> Puffy already told us some people just don't know how to stop. Case in point, Master P. He's a top dog. He's a rapper. He's a CEO. Build a music empire. Sells sneakers. Sells rap snacks. Has his own rice. His own cereal. Wants to start a school. Reality television. Ramen noodles, right? R R Raymond noodles. Ramen, whatever, right? He doesn't know how to stop. Now, family seafood recipe. Passed down from his grandmother. Yo, take a look. Yep, Uncle P fish frying Kroger's, y'all. You see how good that look? Look at this. That's when you get that Uncle P fish fry. That's my grandma recipe. Uncle P up in Kroger's. I thought I told you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that seafood mix. That's that fish fry. They can have the blocks. We taking over the grocery stores, you heard me? Uncle P fish fry and Kroger's. Remember, get it. Selling like crazy. That's right. Uncle P's seafood and fish fry bread and mix. You, yo, you can find it at Kroger's. Look, what if it's the best breading mix that you ever ate, man? You see what I'm saying? In your life. Someone will say that it is, right? So why can't it be you? Where can you find it at? Kroger's, that's right. And yo, Sabrina Peterson decided to discuss exactly why she decided to expose T.I. She stated, quote, I didn't know that several people shared these types of experiences with him. I do a post and it's a caption. It's not his picture. It's not anything else. It was strictly a caption. It wasn't a video. It was an image of me with a bullhorn saying, you can't be the poison and the antidote, right? She stated that after that post, she didn't think it would go any further. Then she said this, yo, take a listen. I didn't know that several people shared these type of experiences. So you posted the video putting him on blast about the um, pulling a gun on you that woke it up and so as a result of that did you just started getting lots of messages where people no, what, like, what happened like so the the part that was just crazy right so i do a post and it's a caption it's not his picture it's not anything else it was strictly a caption it wasn't a video it was it was a, it was like an image of me with a bullhorn and you mentioned it in there in the caption too about the Keisha Lance violence and the yeah. it was about the community and exactly about, yeah. so it was a, it was about the community like listen like you can't play both sides exactly you yeah. can't be the poison and the antidote you got to choose which one you're gonna be and so I'm saying so at the end of the day that was my sentiment of the post I did not I didn't think it would go any further than it and I also thought that me and Tamika had enough of a relationship that if she did had other things going on that she, because I didn't mention her in it. You, she could have picked up the phone and then a bit of build a bridge. She could have picked up the phone and said, hey, Serena, like, can you take that down for me? Yeah, for sure. For sh like, it's a freaking Instagram post. Mm -hmm. It's not like a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are outside people. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm speaking on, uh, you know, how I feel. You know, my frustration with the city, my frustration with the leadership, my frustration with the crime, and my frustration with the, with the future of these young boys who are catching all these charges, mm -hmm. not understanding what these charges are going to do for them, you know, to them and um, how they're going to be held against them in 15 to 20 years from now. But this is what I find interesting about T.I. because I don't know him personally. I used to be a real big fan of his music and I've met him maybe once or twice in passing. I remember when the whole protest happened and he stood up there with Keisha Lance Bottoms and Keisha was denouncing people from uh, taking action against Gucci's and this and that and he actually stood up there um, well, no, he didn't, um, he didn't, that's not when he did it. He did the protest against Gucci a different time. When he stood with Keisha Lance Bottoms and they were trying to tell the protesters to stop destroying the buildings, I understood what they were trying to say, but they, I also felt like they were trying to control the anger and frustrations of black people who had felt suppressed for so long. I say that to say, the contradiction for me was how he's gone off and done the anti-Gucci campaign and blasted Floyd Mayweather at the same time. It's like, you don't want to stand with people who you feel are suppressing black people, but then you go and make a song where you suppress black people. He's now come out and made a song about this, these allegations. Where, where does T.I. make sense in all of it? He's a, he's a, he's a living oxymoron. Mm -hmm. That's what he is. And most of us are. Mm. You, you know, you tell, I mean, most, most people are very hypocritical. Most, you know, like, because it's two sides to every coin. So you may feel one way and you may feel another way. 
I don't have shit to do with how he act, I mean, how, how he act as far as like, you know, emotionally and toxic and that kind of stuff. I have absolutely nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. I have everything to do with anybody on God's green earth thinking you can control my narrative mm -hmm. of what happened to, you, you know, or, or how and when I speak, why I speak and things of that nature. Like if you, if, if, if you didn't want someone to mention that you put a gun to their head, I think it's easily said, don't put a gun to their head. Mm -hmm. The other thing I, I, I would like to even speak on is in our community, everyone's saying like, why, why now, why now, why now? So here's the why now. Number one, tr I've realized in this whole thing, trauma, just like karma, has absolutely no expiration date on it. But she added, it was merely an Instagram post, not a tattoo. And when answering the question of why bring it out now, she said, trauma, like karma, has no expiration date. So it sounds like the classic, I made a post, the joint spun out of control. A bunch of people suddenly came out the woodworks. She said she was rounding them all up to tell their stories and told him he has seven days to admit to everyone what he did. And then comes out now saying, I have no idea how we got here. Lady, please, okay? Uh, I wanna give a shout out real quick to Weekly Issues, man. Weekly Issues say, yo, celeb source, much love, brother. Been a, been a long time subscriber every day after I, um, uh, I'll be listening every day after work while cooking dinner, man. You help motivate me. I also started my own channel. Much respect if you could support a brother. Yo, check out Weekly Issues channel, man. You see what I'm saying? I haven't, I haven't checked it yet, man. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I haven't. I try to really look at y'all channels and stuff. Like, y'all be talking crazy. I just be going, I click and then go into the channel to see, yo, who is on Celeb Source, man? Are they crazy? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, um... Weekly Issues, man, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for coming through. Look, I know a lot of y'all wondering, I wonder what 6 9 is doing. Well, you could have guessed what 6 9 is doing, and you would most likely be right, right? But for those that aren't, 6 9 is busy writing posts like this. He uh, responded to DJ Academic's post concerning Pooh Shiesty, and he said, quote, I think this is to Gucci. Your man got robbed in a club while performing and got mad, took out his gun for the cameras. His mom is in my prayers, close quote. You'll notice I skipped a significant piece of that post, right? You can read though, right? Look, I ain't even want to say it. You know what would be hot though? If 6 9 made songs and the lyricality and the delivery of the songs was off the chain, then we could focus on the intricacies of his rhyme style that would be interesting. You see what I'm saying? A as opposed to the fact that he's constantly trolling all the time, man. Y you follow what I'm saying? A as if that wasn't enough for Pooh Shiesty, though. Things might be getting a bit worse. Remember when we did a story about the security guard that stated that he was doped up on something called the law did, right? And he exclaimed that was why he gave that story. Well, apparently, uh, he said that statement a little bit too loud because the feds woke up, right? Not only is the judge now denying Pooh Shiesty bail, but the feds are now getting involved. And you know when the feds get involved, it's like 90% conviction rate. You see what I'm saying? The feds are now getting involved and are considering hitting the man Pooh Shiesty with witness tampering charges. This is not a good look. And finally, you're, you're probably tuned in for this, man. 50 Cent posted a video seemingly of himself, right? Although it's hard to tell. And a bunch of us watched the clip <laughs> and was like this. Yo, Sauce, let me get that clip real quick, please. You got knocked the fuck out. That's right. <laughs> you like, wait a minute. Are you implying that 50 got knocked out? Hey, look. 50 implied that he got knocked out. Yo, take a look at this video that 50 Cent posted. Take a look, take a look. Yep, 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 yep. Woo! Hey, yo, we told you not to move to Texas, fam. We told you not to move, right? Now, under that video, right, Fifth added the caption, what the F, this fool hit me, right? Get the strap. He then added, nobody in the gym better be here when I get back. It's like he went to go get the strap. You see what I'm saying? He added, fool hit me and y'all laughing, right? <laughs> the man who hit him was never seen again. The clip was liked by, uh, LL Cool J, the legend, right? Money Bag Yo, DJ Camillo, who was like, Conyo, right? <laughs> I think that's what he said. Um, I, look, at first, I was like, yo, that couldn't be fifth, right? Why would he post that of himself? But apparently, he's playing a game that he knows the outcome could be exactly that, man. You see what I'm saying? So, respect to fifth for even posting that and cracking a joke about it, right? I like when folks don't take themselves too seriously, but please, I wouldn't mistake that for not taking the man seriously myself. You follow what I'm saying, man? 
Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for Celeb News.